So here we are at the final of the Europa League for the players' eyes firmly fixed on lifting that trophy. All corners of the stadium break into rapturous applause as their heroes emerge. Arsenal, the information we've been given is that they're going to go with a 3-5-2. Well, this system, Peter, allows for a really expansive passing game. If your centre-backs can play, then you see lots of diagonal switches to the wing-backs, and it all makes for a stylish, attractive bundle. However, its biggest weakness are those gaps between centre-backs and wing-backs, and with quick enough movement from the opposition, that can cause lots of trouble. So, just who will seize their moment? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Kovacic. Kovacic tries to stroke it through. Fence has got rid of that. Looking to shoot. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. but couldn't steer it in. <laughs> Some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. Poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Kolasinac. Now the pass. And no Bamian! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Look, they may have nothing to show for it so far, but this is one determined start. About that challenge, robust but fair. Oh, Bamiang! It's in! That could turn out to be a big, big goal. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again. Arsenal with themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's 
That's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Shaka. Conte. Looks like a good ball through. Petro hits one! There's a goal! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Chelsea grab the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Leighton Niles, he's making a foray down the right. Leighton Niles, that's good intervention. Things could have got far worse than that. Here it comes. Goes for goal. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being. Maitland Niles gets it back, aimed long and direct. Kovacic. Now he's wondering who wants it. Well read, he sorted that out. Keeper goes long. A real chance to break. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Played out to the right. Whistle's gone. We've reached the halfway point of the final. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final. What are you thinking? I think both teams have played their part in what's been a, a pretty tight affair. And this is exactly the type of match now when the better players can come to the fore and make all the difference. It's a really interesting game. And they head in at half-time at 1-1. We are already promptly back on the way. No changes at the interval from either side. Pedro chills one in. Maitland Niles. And that's been one straight back. The shot's on! Oh, it's there! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Chelsea go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back of it. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Granit Xhaka. And it's Lacazette. Looks to slip it through. Now Short has a hit! In for the pieces! Yes! Well, this is a terrific show of resilience and spirit. I love to see a team roll up their sleeves and force their way back. Superb. Keeper reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Quite a thriller this one's become. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Going through. Fires. He's gone for it! The comeback is complete. Oh, that always looked the likely outcome. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass, that's what happens. Arsenal getting themselves into the lead. 
well, from such a showpiece final as well. I think this is exactly the type of excitement that all the neutrals would have wanted on. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Arsenal can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Oh, he's hit the bar! That was travelling. Marcos Alonso. And it's Marcos Alonso. Barkley. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Shapes the shoots. So close to drawing level. Makes you think, Peter, they could have been doing this earlier. Still, it's encouraging. are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can... It's Barkley! Oh, sure the chance was. He snatched at it. Petro with the ball through. Shiru! Saved only by poor finishing. Forward. What does he try from here? Petro passes it through. William. And the finish! Dispatch clinically. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So, all square and not for the first time. Well, extra time looms now, but that leveller creates great impetus and they've got to fancy their chances of pinching victory from what looked like the jaws of defeat. Yeah, the forces with them and everything else for that matter they just need he scored and you can't but admire that from a player from whom we expect to come to the fore at crucial crucial moments doing it however is another matter and his influence just grows and grows lovely goal perfect poise to set himself for the strike Arsenal take what looks to be a decisive lead. I think it's just about seeing the rest of the game out now because the crowd have gone into party mode already. He's got away. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And that will be the final act. Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans. A truly proud line in their history. What a moment this is for all connected. It is a day for pride, a day of glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.